So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, SQL Server and how to run those, <coughs> how to install uh, SQL Server on your laptop so you can uh, learn and possibly one day start uh, running commands on it. So to SQL Server is, uh, like I said, if it's a server, then you need to install the client as well and so we will not install on a server like a not on my server we will run install the server and the client both running from the computer itself the host so you can search for any version of them there is a 2017 18 14 16 um, server 19 well, some people like prefer the latest one and you can see it says try now we go with that one that one and you don't have to worry about that oh maybe um it's uh, i have to pay because there is a free specialized edition it is for the learning purposes so you download and install that one both the client and the uh, Uh, server as well so the one that you need is Express because this is for the developer that uh, uh, develop like people who develop things so if you just want to learn you can download this Express one if you click on download now uh, so I can go there and delete it if I want oh it started the I'm gonna cancel it but that's how you're gonna download, um, run it, and install it on your. And make sure uh, if it if it does it automatically for you, make sure that you have the management studio as well, uh, SSMS, that is uh, uh, SQL Server Management Studio. If not, then you can search again, um, SS. SQL Server Management Studio and download SQL Server Menu. You can go there and you can download this thing as well. You need this because server is what that thing that will be running all the queries, but you will be working inside this management studio. So for example, I have installed it and if I go SQL you see server management studio right here and I have it open it here so this is the window they were once you have it this is the window where you will uh, create all the commands or oh, sorry write queries um, let me sh open a new one so your window when you start it will this one will be grayed out but you will open a new one from by new queries <coughs> so the thing that are most important right now uh, in the beginning will be the new query so you can write uh, commands here in the middle uh, tab this one object explorer these are all the uh, different aspects but especially these are the cylinders these cylinders are actually the databases that we will be working in we will run uh, or uh, I keep saying run command We'll write queries here and we will execute them. And in the bottom half, it will give you like this. Um, okay, they're both same. But yeah, over here, you will actually get something. Is it uh, successful or there was an error and all that. So <coughs> we're gonna practice that uh, next. And to save, you always save as. <coughs> So you see, this is the fourth one I open. Open it says SQL Query Four, but I saved it with the names table and create rear, uh, create and drop. I man, meant to write C, but I for some reason D. Anyways, and this is the main thing, and there are so many things just like any software that we can explore. But this is like the easiest uh, approach to go and. 
explore them while we are at it rather than to start exploring everything like we normally do with the office 365 on this one we're going to go step by step <coughs> writing queries so right now the thing that most important to you is new queries execute and this place and part of it here that you can see so these are the databases that you created so the system databases that are already there <coughs> and these databases that appear are the ones that uh, you create or I created <coughs> the other important thing is where to find these for example if you are bringing a uh, you have a database from a friend's computer or you download it from the internet for learning purposes or in uh, production you have a database that you need to work in you bring it on a USB so how do you load in here you have to just uh, uh, the two files that you have and you go to program files and you will go to program files not the program x86 uh, if you have the 64 bit and most likely you will have a 64 uh, and Microsoft SQL Server then SQLs this one SQL and data in here if you see these are all the uh, let me show you side by side if you can see here uh, practice 2 practice 2 ETL ETL so whatever is here let me show you this master model MSDB uh, master model MSDB so all these databases are stored in here and that's the uh, address <coughs> so you will basically copy your database here but make sure that you see that it says model and model log msdb data and msdb log practice 2 practice 2 log so whatever the file name the database file name is there will also be a log file as well so you need to copy both of them here for example this adventure works is by microsoft i downloaded it and i pasted both of them here but this is not an imran edl edc i created them <coughs> So that's for it. Let's go and start uh, uh, writing commands. Uh, that's for the next video.